Hello everybody, welcome back to more Reader Rabbit's Interactive Math Journey. We are continuing our epic personal quest to discover just what the heck can math even be used, like, practically in the real world. And thus far we've learned that uh, if you uh, know about patterns and symmetry, you can make some pretty nifty quilts. And if you know how to add and subtract, you can make baked goods pretty easily. So, what lies in store in World 3, the land of measurement? Well, we saw it was a log cabin. Let's discover what's in store. We're off to the land of log cabin measurement. Nice ruler. To the measurement mountain house. There's a beaver over there. Is he the mathematician? Nah, the beaver that lives there is Mac. He's a lumberjack. Well, his house on the river doesn't seem to be measuring up to his expectations. Ha ha! I freaking love the puns. This game is creative. Hey, Mac! Brrr. This house of sticks will freeze me, but the house of logs might please me. Okay, good to know, bro. What's going on? Alright, let's start the math song as we should. Put my best foot forward, I move inch by inch. I'd walk a million miles, it would be a cinch. I'm in my own backyard, measuring up my landscape. I'm a bad tail beaver with a measuring tape. They call me Measuring Mac, and I'm here to say that you can measure anything in any kind of way. You can measure with a shovel, with a boot, or with a chain. You can measure at your leisure if your units keep the same. You can measure at your leisure if your units keep the same. <laughs> They call me Measuring Mac. I measure everywhere I roam. And I can parlez vous on the microphone. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, that was legit the best rap song I've ever heard. <laughs> I was not expecting a rap in this game, but wow. That guy's got skills. He's, like, actually pretty good. That that measures up to the Knuckles rap songs as, like, <laughs> some of the only good rap I've ever heard. Anyhow... So, looks like we're going to be uh, measuring some logs, most likely. Let's see what this story is all about. Measuring weird. Mac, the lumberjack, yeah. measures wherever he roams. But his life on the river is making him shiver. He must build himself a warm home. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the arrow. That guy looks kind of creepy. Also, that guy looks more like a human than a be- He looks like just a guy with a really hairy, like, really hairy face, like a lot of facial hair. Those are some pretty human-looking arms, if I do say so myself. Anyhow. Mac always takes just what Not he anymore. needs, or else he takes nothing at all. To build his log cabin, Mac should be grabbing a tree that's two shovels tall. Grab the shovels and move them next to the trees. All right, so this is kind of teaching us that you don't even need a ruler to measure. You just need something that's consistent. So this shovel is, in that case, I think it'll be... That one's Now that you've measured from bottom to top, click on the tree. Now that you've measured from bottom to top, click on the tree and watch as I chop. All right, that's the that's one we need. It. This one's for you. He doesn't even need an axe because he's a beaver. You did it. Turn the page. Dang, I bet. I guess even beavers get cold in the winter. As you can see, Mac was quite pleased by your quick-thinking reply. Now see if you can help him out of this jam. Find him a tree three boots high. Okay. Yeah, now we're measuring with boots. Not exactly the, um... It's not exactly a valid unit in the metric system, but okay. Now that you've measured, click on the tree. That's not the one we need. We need free boots high. That's gonna be the one in the middle. Now that you've... Aha! Uh -huh. Good for you. It is perfect. What accent does that guy have? You did it! Turn the page! Also, this guy can't be a real lumberjack, because he's not wearing, uh, flannel. Every lumberjack I've ever known has worn flannel. <laughs> now Mac needs a tree that's five boots tall. He'll chop that one with pleasure. He wants to protect trees, so he'll only select trees that match with the length that you measure. 
that's good. You don't want to overchop. I'm guessing the one that's middle height will be the one we need. Oh, what a surprise! Now that you've measured from bottom to top, click on the tree. Just right. Let's take it away. Have you thought of investing in a measuring tape? Just, just asking. A measuring tape would help you out a lot better. Turn the page. Now Mac has all the wood he needs, but he's in quite a fix. He's never built a home from logs. He's used to using sticks. That's okay. Logs are like sticks, but bigger and better. <laughs> they also can kill you. <laughs> if you're not careful. All right, it looks like we're trying... Dude, you already have a house! Uh, oh no, this is the story of how you, uh, build that for me. It, but it's right here now. No, oh, <laughs> that's the house the last guy went on the math journey built. It's terrible. We're gonna destroy it with a wrecking ball and start the new. <laughs> All right, fine. Oh, Let's wow. Help Mac build a log cabin. Okay. We can use the log cutting machine. Click on the green arrow to push the log out. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. Uh-huh. Oh, so this is getting a little bit uh, trickier now, kids, because now we actually have to f use these shovels at the bottom to measure out how long each log needs to be. Good thing we, uh, good thing he cut a lot more trees than, uh, we did. We what the heck? He needs to f we need to build him five houses? <laughs> Dude, most people just have one. <laughs> no, I want five. <laughs> That seems a little greedy. I want five just in case. Do you have any idea how long <laughs> that these houses need to last? People almost never go on the math journey. That's the only time I get houses built. And this place is known for uh, tornadoes, so I just gotta be careful. <laughs> All right, Mac, whatever. <laughs> seems kind of greedy, but okay. Big ol' log. Again. Booyah! We got the door. Thank goodness this has an unlimited amount of logs. Or we'd be in big doo-doo. This is kind of tedious, though. Did we really have to... Do we really have to do it this much? Apparently, yes. But do we have to do this five times? Like, come on. Maybe three. Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? Yes. You didn't have to interrupt my log cutting process in order to tell me that. By the way, Mac, why aren't you doing this? <laughs> It's your house! <laughs> and you have a sawmill right next to your house. Why can't you do it? Wow, that was Great magic. Job. Let's do it another way. The but why? Show how many cabins you've built. Build five log cabins to earn your star. Click on the next house to build another one. Why though? He's the only person living here. <laughs> I need one house for each season, and then one just for weekends. <laughs> also, we literally didn't build him a house, we literally just built him one wall. So, not picture, this is only a 2D, behind this wall is literally nothing. <laughs> maybe each, maybe the first four houses are just the four walls, and the last one is like the roof. That actually could make sense. Alright, next house. Oh, this is, this is, this is getting complicated, eh? All right, first we need one that's eight long. Because, you know, that door is taking up two, and we need to get all the way to ten. Nope. Just like that.
This is a this is a cool game. Again, this game does a very good job of teaching us teaching kids about math, measurement, all the likes. Like this this activity could actually be fairly difficult for a kid to do. All right, we need one, two, three, four. Now we need three. Okay, this log cabin's actually a bit tougher. What? This is a weird design cabin, though. What the heck? You don't need this many windows. And the windows aren't even in good places. Like, come on. This this game is turning from Artie teaches people how to use math to Artie criticizes people on the terrible job they do in their personal lives. Actually, I feel like that's a lot of games that I play. <laughs> I still don't know why I have to work for Mac myself, though. If he, if he, if he, if he's a real man, he'll do the work himself. Except he's not a real man. He's a beaver. Also, why is he using his teeth for this? <laughs> my dentist says that I should not be using my teeth to cut wood, so I built this sawmill near my house. I mean, you know, I'm good for him. He's clearly industrious. He, 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 either, he either happened to move in the middle of this, like, forest, which just happens to have a saw, an unmanned sawmill that's perfectly functional, or he built it himself, in which case he can build this hey, himself. Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can I you know. put some more logs to fill in the hole? Yes. I'm, like, literally two logs away from completing his dream home, and he's like, Oh, Harry, could you speed it up? I want my second home done before dinner's ready. <laughs> There we go. I love my new warm toasty house. Merci. Click on the next house to build another one. Is that a French accent he has? He said merci. <laughs> I've never seen a Frenchman who looks quite like that. He'd be more for me. <laughs> He'd fit in in America a little bit better. All right. <laughs> Man, this this, this a lazy bum. <laughs> <laughs> For the next math challenge, build a heater, because I want central heating in this house. You're, you're gonna be waiting a long time there, Mac. You're gonna be waiting a long, long time. Because we can't make heaters with just logs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's Max got the coloration down for a lumberjack, but he, he's not actually wearing flannel. He's just wearing a red shirt. If you're a lumberjack, you're gonna wear flannel. That's it's it's an unspoken rule among lumberjacks. Also, I, Tally Cat, I like your boots. Her boots are styling. You know, I could have sworn we didn't build as many trees as we have in the past. I could have sworn that we, uh, we, uh, didn't cut down that many trees to get this much wood. No, I think we did. Also, I'm really glad that we can just use our magical mouse to lift these up to, like, the very top. Instead of having to actually do physical labor getting the, uh, logs up there. Because, holy cow, that would take a lot of force. And that would definitely tire us out. Because we, we know that... We know that, like, Tally and Maddie, they're kids. Like, they're not going to be able to help out a lot. I assume that they're kids. Maddie, I know for a fact, is a kid. Tally Cat, I think, also is. She should be. She's got the voice of a kid. Alright, dude. Here's house number three. <laughs> Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the hole? Why do you keep mentioning this at literally when there are only two logs left to put in? It's, it's very unnecessary. Here you go, beaver boy. Très chic, but now I'd like to remodel. Oh, right, really, dude? You drew up these plans and made me build you a log home, and now as soon as it's done, it's like, actually, this house sucks. We're gonna make a different one. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I really appreciate it. Oh, man. 
Now the measurement units are even smaller, so we've got to use... The oh, this is not going to be fun. Let's just start by making the short logs. Why would you make the measurement units so small? It's like it's like building a house and using centimeters. Like you don't do that. <laughs> Maybe it's like the fine tuning at the end, but we don't have to do that the the whole construction process. All right, so the first bottom row, the six units are this long, so we need twenty minus six. That's going to be 14. So you even got to use some addition and subtraction in here as well if you want to make the logs just right. Of course, you also don't need to make the logs all in one big piece. You could just cut a billion tiny pieces and then just stack them all there. But that doesn't make very good building materials. Let's make let's make the top first. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do when you're constructing a house. But no, we're building the roof first. <laughs> all right. Six long. Boom. Now let's get one that's eight long. This definitely will help teach kids about math, but this one's just not that fun. It's very repetitive. I remember World 3 not being nearly as good as Worlds 2 and 4. I remember World 4. World 4 is the next one, and it's by far the best world. So, <laughs> shameless plug for the next episode of this. Dude, <laughs> you were so, this guy is so picky. He drew up five different plans for his dream home. He couldn't choose just one, so instead he decided to choose all of them. It's four units across from here, so we can just do that. For all of you kitties out there, if you're trying to figure out how long this log needs to be, well, compare it to what's at the bottom. So it goes from 11 all the way to 20. And that means... We need one that's 10 units long. Yeah, we're building on the math that we've already learned, which is exactly what math is supposed to do. As you learn more advanced math, you're going to need the simpler math in order to do it. But the advanced math makes complex problems a lot easier. Take calculus. <laughs> calculus makes algebra problems a lot easier to do. It's harder to learn, but you can do the same problems in, like, you can do a complex algebra problem that would take like 10 steps of algebra to solve in like two steps of calculus. One of the reasons why it's so great. Alright. But this is, a calculus is a little too advanced for this. You gotta wait for Reader Rabbit uh, Math Journey 2 before we start covering like calculus. <laughs> can we take the derivative of this function to find the slope of the line at here? <laughs> they, they, they found it a little harder to find practical reasons why you would want to know that. As compared to being able to measure things is obviously very important. For example, building houses or doing any home construction of any kind. Hey, it's a little drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? Yes, I can. I didn't need you to tell me that. Alright, dude. Use the last stupid log. I hope you appreciate this, bro. Do not make me build another house. Trashik. But now, I'd like to remodel. Nope. Click on the next house to build what a, another one. What an ungrateful beaver. Alright, okay. Uh-huh, amen. <laughs> Well, well, time for the last challenge. At least this is the last vlog home we have to build. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on my resume. It's like, so why should we hire you at this building company? Well, I've built five log cabins by hand. You have? Really? Technically! <laughs> Wait, you, did you just play Rita Rabbit's Math Journey? Um, uh, yeah. Also, speaking of which, Rita Rabbit's Math Journey has a shocking lack of Rita Rabbit in it. Like, seriously, is he even in this game? <laughs> I don't remember Rita Rabbit being in this game at all. 
and I know at the title screen it just says Interactive Map Journey, but on the, the on the CD box it clearly says Reader Rabbit's Interactive Map Journey. But instead of Reader Rabbit, we got Tally Cat because apparently Reader Rabbit's too busy reading to the kitties. He's like, I don't really care about uh, math. Reader Rabbit's trying to live his whole life without knowing any math. Good luck with that, Reader Rabbit. You're not gonna get very far. I mean, I know a lot of people don't need advanced math. But everyone needs to know, like, the, the math that we cover in this game, everyone needs to know. That's what makes the game so good. One of the things that makes the game so good. Reader Rabbit, you, you can't just read your way out of everything. <laughs> it's just, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't need to learn how to add and subtract. Oh, really, Reader Rabbit? When you're trying, when you're at the grocery store paying for your groceries, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna pay for it? Are you gonna read to them? <laughs> You can read how much they owe you, but you can't- you don't know how to actually, like, pay for it. If you've got a bag of potato chips and you need to divide it evenly among you and all your friends, you can't just read to them to figure that out. <laughs> Although I gotta admit, Reader Rabbit's, like, striped shirt is pretty styling. Seriously, where is Reader In the timeline of all the Reader Rabbit games, in the lore of Reader Rabbit games, where where does this take place? What is Reader Rabbit doing at this time that is so important? We're clearly not it's clearly not taking place during Reader Rabbit Toddler, Reader Rabbit Preschool, or Reader Rabbit Kindergarten, because Maddie Mouse is in all three of those. And Maddie Mouse is kind of tagging along with us on this journey, although she's not doing it. She's just supervising. We're the ones actually cutting the log. Mr. Beaver is literally just sitting here being like, Hey, can you can you hurry it up? I want to get my centralized heating in here. <laughs> and Maddie Mouse is supervising the project, not actually doing anything. And Tally Cat's just looking at us. Why why do we have to do it? <laughs> Beaver Mac the Beaver should be doing this, not us. But no, we've been enlisted to help him. Whatever, Mac. We shouldn't put any. I'm not putting in the window. Fix your hit detection, read a rabbit. Hey, it's, it's a all drafty, drafty in here. Can you cut some more logs to fill in the holes? Yeah, yeah, Pepe. Keep your keep your shirt on. Literally, because that'll keep you warmer. All right, last log. Last log. Oh, we did it perfectly. We're speedrunning this. Are you happy now? I love my new warm toasty house. Merci. Good. You make me smile. Okay, that guy is creepy. Pop, I think, is planning a coup. Click on exit if you need a rest. Or keep clicking on the house. Oh, I do need to rest. I've. <laughs> do you know how tiring it is to click on this button over and over and over again? It takes a lot out of you. <laughs> Sarcasm. Oh boy! And the magical boxing glove gives us a tree. There's our souvenir. Like an, an actual that entire that tree. Souvenir may help us find the math magician. Will it? Thanks, merci. You've been a great help. Yeah, I literally now built I'll you use five houses to keep my new house warm. Cool. Well, happy ending for Mac. He got five houses with centralized heating, and he didn't have to lift a finger for it. I guess he had to cut down the actual that trees. Math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Click on it. I know, Maddie. Maybe, maybe Maddie's double teaming this with Reader Rabbit in Kindergarten. No, no, it can't be. <laughs> no, she's tagging along with us. So this, this maybe Reader Rabbit's putting on like the school play. I don't even. I only played the first like Reader Rabbit toddler preschool in Kindergarten. I don't think I actually played Reader Rabbit first grade or second grade. Did, I think one of those they were like putting on a school play or something. Maybe that's what Reader Rabbit's doing. Or maybe Reader Rabbit's like taking the day off. <laughs> maybe he's in school. Are we just ditching school to go on this math journey or is this like the weekend? <sighs> I don't know, but we got a tree out of it so it was worth it. There's our Christmas tree. It's Pac-Man. No, 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 no. We're going to Italy next time. Not this time.
I like that little fanfare of um, Tally Cat pulling out her map. All right, next world. Yeah, we're going to Italy, and it's by far the best world in the entire game. It's got the best psalm and the best mini games. And the best characters as well. So, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is like the one world that really stands out in my head that I truly remember very, very well. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyhow, we're never going back to World Free again. If Mac wants a new house, he can build it himself. The lazy bum. <laughs> Anyhow, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We're going to be learning about these, this little complex thing that a lot of people struggled with. Fractions. But this world is going to make it easier to understand what fractions are all about. So look forward to that next time. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.